thought I had my tripod, but I don't know where it's at. I misplaced it. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my new carry-on luggage from Quincy or Quince. I don't know how everyone's saying it, so um, I'm just going to say Quincy. Um, I have been looking at luggage for quite a while because I'm about to be leaving the country soon and I was having a look at Away and Mono's super expensive brands but they just seemed like really good quality and I didn't really um, mind to spend the money on it because of how they're made and the quality of it but then I saw this site and the reviews on it have said that it's very similar to Away and Mono's so I was like why spend double that price when I could just get it for half of the price that those brands are at so I will be unboxing it right here right now with you guys first reaction everything sorry I'm literally on my feet right now so let's get into this I'm super excited this came in the mail probably like four or five days ago and I'm just now opening it. I've been so busy. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get scissors. I'll be right back. suitcase so I got their 21 inch because I have a 20 inch I think it's 20 inches and it's just way too small for me um, I'm gonna compare it because my other one that is a carry-on is from Calpac and I really like them a lot I just wish I didn't get it with the laptop case in front of it because I barely even used it so this one doesn't have a laptop um, space in front of it it's just the whole luggage by itself. It's so cute. And I got it in black. Because I didn't want any oh, static. I didn't want any um marks on it while I'm traveling. This is so cute. First impression. It's very wobbly. Can you guys see that? This zipper part. It's very like I don't know if all suitcases are supposed to be like that, but very like flimsy to me right there okay I'm not gonna lie I honestly hope this fits in the overhead compartment because this is kind of big I didn't think it would be that big okay so here's the TSA approved lock slide the lock to the right okay so let me show you guys how that works you slide it to the right and then we can set the code to whatever we want it to be. But it's pretty easy, I like that. Don't have to deal with any keys. Here's the design. It's got this very minimalistic um, line design. Very sleek, minimal, and modern looking still. And then the lines just continue on the other side. Here is the handle. I like the side handles, um, they help a lot rather than just having it at the top. Okay, let's open it and see what's inside. Okay, so here is the inside. It's actually really spacious in here. <laughs> like, I'm gonna fit a bunch of clothes. So this is the side where the compression part is, which is what I was looking forward to because I need something to press down my clothes. I always have a hard time zipping up my luggage having to sit on top of it, so this will be very helpful. And it also comes with the buckles, and I, I prefer the buckle, too, because my last one is just a clip-on. I'll show you guys the comparison, but you can tighten it as well with the straps, which I really like. Let's see what's in here. What is this? Oh, this is the little um, magic eraser that it comes with. It's pretty neat. 
and then it's just a little, I guess, a little guide out the suitcase. And then in here, I'm assuming we have the laundry bag, which is pretty neat. Laundry bag, shoe bag, whatever you want to make it. I like that little add-on, and then you can put some little things in here too. And uh, yeah, I like this side. It's pretty deep. Let's say here's this side. I don't like how it's very loose with the the um, fabric. That kind of bugs me. This side is pretty deep too. You guys can see the how deep it is. You could <laughs> fit a lot in here, to be honest. So there's that side, and it just comes with the cover. 360, super smooth. Really nice wheels. And then the handle has three settings. One. Two, three. I'm just gonna do a close up of the wheels for you guys. Time for the comparison of cow pack and the Quincy luggage. So I'm not sure what size my cow pack is. I'm assuming it's 20, or maybe it's, it is the same size. Well, let me see. Nope, Quincy's is a little bit larger, so I'm assuming this is 18 or 20, and Quincy's is 21. Um, as you guys can see, the wheels are a lot higher on Calpac, and they're a lot lower on Quincy. Um, they both run smooth. Yeah, but do you guys see what I'm talking about with the laptop sleeve in the front of the cow pack? This actually took up a lot of space in this pocket. Again, with the handles, cow pack has one at the top, just like Quincy's. Handle there. Both have three settings. Um, turn it over. And they both have the handles on the side that help a lot. Um, Quincy's doesn't have any grips though, whereas Calpax does have the soft, squishy grip. As I don't know what happened, I recorded um, my comparison with the inside of the Calpac suitcase and Quincy's, um, but I guess I didn't upload it on my laptop, so I need to remake another clip for it. This is the inside of the Calpac carry-on suitcase. I'm pretty sure it's the 20 inch or if carry-ons go smaller than that, I'm not sure. So this is what I was talking about. This is the only compression um, detail that they have in their suitcase. Um, it just clips on like that. It's really just an elastic band. Is that okay? Yeah, it's just an elastic band. It's really stretchy. Um, it feels secure, but like I said, I preferred Quincy's version. It's still good to have this. So here's the depth of this pocket. It's pretty deep. So you guys can see the depth of that. You could fit a lot of clothes on this side. And then here we have this side. It comes with two pockets that you can put like socks and underwear in and then a zipper pocket. Mine zipper broke, so that's why I'm having to look for a new one. Do you see the difference? With this laptop compartment in the front, it takes up so much space on this side. You can see the difference. There's like this little gap right here, and I'm, I can't really fit a lot in there. I haven't been able to. I just do not like this part right here. Um, you can see there's not a lot of room right there. That's where my hand stops. Right there. I mean, I could fit one pair of shoes in there, but that's it. So the end result of the Quincy 21 inch carry-on luggage was not what I was expecting. From reading in the reviews, I was expecting pretty good quality and seeing it in person, it just was not what I was expecting. Um, I wanted this to work out for me. I did not want to bash um, 
trying out their luggage for the first time, but I just wanted it to be an honest review and to show you guys what you will be spending your money on because it's not cheap. It's still over $100, um, but if you are needing it for like a small weekend getaway, I think it'd be perfect for that. But anything international or anything longer than just a weekend, I don't recommend that suitcase. Especially if you know you're going to be throwing it around and taking it everywhere with you on different types of pavements and like rocks and bumps and everything. I just don't think that thing will last, especially through my travels. I'm really careless when it comes to my luggage for the most part um so i just don't think that thing would last for me um so i will have to look a little bit longer but yeah i hope you guys took something good from this comparison that concludes my review i hope this helps any of you guys looking on quincy debating whether or not to buy from them and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and all my social medias are linked down below and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye I'm gonna find you